Many brands create progressive web apps, PWA, for their websites to enable users to install the Superlight web app on their smartphones and enjoy a native app-like experience while browsing that site. Progressive web apps are also great for branding, as once the user installs it, it stays on their home screen and the brand's logo stays in the user's mind. There's a rumor on the internet that progressive web apps cannot be made for Blogger. But today I am going to prove that wrong. In this article, I am going to show you how to create a progressive web app for Blogger to let your readers enjoy a native app-like experience on your blog slash website. What are progressive web apps? Ever notice to add to home screen pop-up in Google Chrome when you visit some websites? Well, that pop-up is shown when a website supports PWA. When you click on the add to home screen button, the website's logo is added to your phone's home screen. To learn more about PWAs, check out this article. Demo If you are reading this article on your mobile phone, simply tap on Add to Home Screen from the menu, Chrome menu, and then tap on Add. Then you will see that Techabun's PWA has been added to your phone's home screen, and when you open it, you will be able to use Techabun.com just like any other app on your phone. Well... Now that you have got a clear idea about what a PWA is, let's get started with learning how to make a progressive web app for a blogger site. Steps to make progressive web app for blogger. Massive update. Now it's possible to serve the service worker in your blogger PWA. Thus, your blogger blog's PWA will now support offline pages and installation pop-ups. Please note that for a full-fledged PWA along with service worker support, your blogger blog needs to have a custom domain and needs to be connected to Cloudflare. This is because Blogger doesn't allow us to upload files in its directory, thus we need to upload the serviceworker.js file in our site's directory using Cloudflare workers. I would like to provide credit to Marwanto606, where I first saw the deployment of PWA's service worker using Cloudflare workers. If you have a custom domain, but have not connected your blog to Cloudflare yet, please do so first. Here's the tutorial, how to set up Cloudflare for Blogger blog, easy. 1. Get the correct favicons. This is the most important step that you need to perform to make a PWA for your Blogger blog. Go to https colon slash slash favicon.io. This is the best site I have found till now for this purpose. If you already have a nice logo for your website, choose the generate from image option or else you can choose the generate from text option. Quick tip, if you are using the generate from text option and want the background of your logo to be transparent, Change the background color value to hashtag FFFFFF00 Download the zip file on your computer and extract the following files into a folder. Favicon 16 times 16 dot ping Favicon 32 times 32 dot ping Android Chrome 192 times 192 dot ping Android Chrome 512 times 512 dot ping Apple Touch Icon dot ping site dot web manifest. 2. Compress the images optional step. You can optimize those images to reduce their size for faster loading time using tinypen.com. 3. Upload the pictures to a draft. Go to blogger.com and create a draft post and upload the extracted pictures to this post in the original size. And save the post. Make sure you don't publish it. 4. Create the site.webmanifest file. Right-click on the site.webmanifest file and click on Edit. Open it with Notepad or any other text editor. Delete all the content inside the site.webmanifest file. Select all with Ctrl plus A and hit the Delete key. Now copy the code given below and paste it inside your site. Webmanifest file. The link to the article containing the code is given in the description below. Replace the Techabun name and short underscore name with your own blog's name. 
To find the link, simply right-click on the picture and click on Copy Image Address. In the third instance, replace, link to your 192 times 192 icon, with the actual link of the 192 by 192 sized favicon that you uploaded to the draft post, without braces. Next, you'll find two instances of SRC. In the fourth instance, replace, link to your 512 times 512 icon, with the actual link of the 512 by 512 sized favicon that you uploaded to the draft post, without braces. In the last line, change start underscore URL with your own blog's URL. Finally, save the file. 5. Upload the site.webmanifest to an online storage. This article has been updated here. Drive HQ is no more supported, thus it has been replaced with GitHub. Go to GitHub and sign up. Now create a new repository. Give your repository any name you want and set it to public. Then click on Create Repository. Upload the site.webmanifest file using the uploading an existing file link. Now click on Choose your files browse the site.webmanifest file and upload it. Then click on Commit Changes. Now click on the site.webmanifest file from your repository. Then, open the raw site.webmanifest file by clicking on raw. Now copy the URL of the raw site.webmanifest file for you PWA. Copy the link and paste it to notepad so that you can use it later. 6. Create a page to be used by the PWA when device is offline. Create a new page on your blog with the title offline page for PWA. You may write anything in the body as you wish. This page will be shown to the user when they open your PWA, while their device is not connected to the internet. Publish the page and take a note of its URL. 7. Set up the service worker using Cloudflare workers. In this step, we'll be setting up the serviceworker.js file for our PWA using Cloudflare workers. Log into your Cloudflare account, select your blog and click on Workers as shown in the image below. Now click on the Manage Workers option. Now choose a subdomain for your Cloudflare worker. The subdomain can be anything you like, it doesn't matter. Click on Setup. Continue with the free plan on the next step. On the next page, click on Create a Worker. Once the worker page is loaded, delete the existing script from the left-hand side column. Copy the code given below. The link to the article containing the code is given in the description below. In the fourth line of the above code, the offline underscore URL variable stores the URL of your offline page that you created in step 6. If your offline page URL is different from the one given in the code, i.e. Slash p slash offline page for poir.html, then replace it with your actual offline page URL. Now paste the code in your worker script column and click on save and deploy. Once it's saved, click on the arrow as shown in the screenshot to go back. On the next page, click on rename and change the worker's name to worker. Once renamed, click on the Cloudflare logo to go back to the Cloudflare dashboard. Select your blog and click on Workers again. On the next page, click on Add Root. Type www.yourblogaddress/sw.js. Replace www.yourblogaddress with your actual blog address under the root field, and select the previously created worker under the worker field. Click on Save. Now test your service worker by going to www.yourblogaddress.com slash sw.js. The service worker should be visible as shown below. 7. Add the links and scripts to your blog's source code. Go to Blogger, Theme, Edit HTML. 
Search for the slash head tag by pressing Ctrl plus F. Just before the slash head tag, paste the following lines. Don't forget to replace the sample href equals urls with the actual urls. The link to the article containing the code is given in the description below. Click on the save theme button. Done. Congratulations. You successfully made a progressive web app, PWA, for your blogger blog. Also check out how to change favicon in the new layout of blogger check it by visiting your website on your phone, using Chrome, and clicking on add to home screen. Don't forget to share this article with other blogger friends of yours, and on social media. A lot of people believe that it is not possible to do this, but here I've just proved that it is absolutely possible, and also showed you the easiest way to set up progressive web app for a blogger blog. If you have any confusion, comment down below, and I'll surely help you out. See you soon in the next post. Have a great day ahead.